What's up everybody, LEGO Productions here, and this is going to be a video tutorial on how to build seven cool looking fidget things, spinners included. So, I'm just going to show you each of them in turn. So, move these all away, and we'll start with this one, the simplest. So can you see, see this? Okay. So this, hold on. I live right next to the freeway, so I don't like hearing that. Uh -huh. This is a, um, a good spinner too, until it hits something. Anyway, so it's pretty much just like a Lego bearing. Making sure you can see that. You could just go like that. And it doesn't spin forever, but it's pretty good for Lego. So it's not bad. So just a cool little thing to push around. Not really a fidget spinner, just like a bearing, except it's not a bearing. If you use your, uh, your ring finger on it, it will make that sound because you're pushing it up. Because see there's um, space right there. I don't want to put anything there just because... So, if you want to do it with your middle finger, you want to do it like this. You can do it like that. So, yeah, just a nice, simple little thing. Ooh. Anyway. Um, okay, now let's do... No, 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 this. Let's do this. So. So, I'm going to start with this little thing. Um, it's pretty much just... Lots of spinning pieces. Um, this is a tire with rubber on it. Um, just a brick, more tires. So yeah, it's just a fun thing. You can spin this, maybe. Okay, yeah, you can't spin it. But you can just hit this fun little thing there. Okay. Now, we can do this one. So this is the famous fidget spinner. It's a Lego one, and it pretty much sucks. See? Yeah, this is actually the first um, fidget toy I ever made, and it pretty much sucks. I'm just showing you, it, it literally doesn't really go that much. So it's, this is only good for just doing it a little bit like this, like this. That's really all it's good for. But it's not like for speed. So yeah, just a bad fidget spinner. Um, then we have um, this. This is a cool little thing. We can spin this. This is so cool to watch. It doesn't stay for long. But... And so, um, it's fun to watch, but that's not its main reason. See, it can go like that. It's fun, kind of like a fidget spinner, except you don't really, like, put it in your hand. I mean, you can, but it can't spin because it's too long. But it's fun to play with like this. And like I said, you can spin it. It's kind of hard. Yeah. So, anyway... That's that. Okay, now we have... Oh, this is hard. Now we have this thing. It's this spinning thing. Well, so it has a platform. If you look on the back, you probably already saw it. there's a red little pin. Once you turn that, slowly that will go. And if you turn it fast, you just keep doing it. It's fun to watch it go. Because here's how it works. This red thing is connected, connected um, to the, uh, the axle that goes to this. When that turns, it turns this gear, which is on this axle, which turns this. But if you go like this, okay, but if you go like this, so this 
is turning at the same time this is turning. So that makes the effect. So really, this isn't turning that much, this one. So that's pretty cool. And if you take the roof off and you, you can go like this and just like put it back and forth. You can do that, but it's not that great. So yeah, there's that one. This one's cool. It's fun to play with. Makes a bit of noise, but not as much as the next one I'm going to show you. This one is definitely one of my favorites. And it's only three pieces. Now, you might recognize these kinds of pieces. Um, touch sensors from the old NXT generation. They're hard to find, I know, but I couldn't use anything else. So, these have, so they're touch sensors, so they um, can go in and out. You put an a 1x4 axle in it with another one, like this. Put it between your fingers. Just go like that. It is so fun. Look, I'm going to show you like this. It is so freaking fun. Put it at the tips of your fingers. Throw it. Catch it. No, we'll catch it in your fingers. Like, going like that. So you can just throw it and catch it like this. And other fingers. If you're one of those people who can, like, put their pen between their fingers, I'm pretty sure you can do that with this. I honestly wouldn't know because I can't really do it. Anyway, here is the final one. And this is probably the best one. A Lego fidget spinner. And it's not like its companion here. This is only a two fidget spinner, but it works very great for Lego. Because Lego is only plastic. The lighter the material, um, the less long it will go. So the more dense, it will go longer. So this is pretty good for plastic, if I do say so myself. So as you can see, I put um, red studs there and there. So when you go like this against the light, you can see that red tint right there. Which makes it look kind of cool. So this is really great. You can do it with your um, ring finger. Not so much, and not really with your pointer, but this actually works. So, um, after like 25 or 30 times, you might want to adjust these a bit, just so they don't get too jammed. Um, one thing is, if you're going to make your own, make sure the weight on each side is even. Like, I was just testing it out, and I put a 1x2 on this side. So I put these, all these studs on, and then I put a 1x2 on this side. And so when I went, it went, like, here, where the 1x2 was. And so you, and you'll, you'll usually know if you put too much weight, because you can feel it going on one side while you spin. So you'll usually know. So yeah. That's the best one. So now, without further ado, let's get started on the building. So here are the pieces for the fidget spinner that I just showed you. You need four um, one by one studs. It doesn't matter if they're round or not. Honestly, square would probably work better. Two of these one by one um, axle holders. Two of these little wheels, um, a two by what is this? A two by a one by eight Technic brick, and a one by three Technic axle. So we're gonna get uh, the brick and the axle. Um, put it in the middle one, and put the axle piece uh, holder on one side and the other one on the other side ah, like that make sure it's not too tight okay and then we're gonna put these wheels on the remaining space okay it should spin freely 
Now, to add the details, um, we're going to put these two, uh, the two studs there on either side. And then do the same on the other side. Other end side. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, there. Just like that. Very easy. All these pieces you should have, except for these wheels, maybe. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, for the fidget, uh, for the other fidget spinner, you're going to need four 2x3s, one 2x2 two two spinning piece, a, two, a round 2x2 two two piece with a hole in the middle, a 2x2 two two brick with a pin on the top, a 2x2 two two round brick, a 4x4 four four, a round piece with a hole in the middle, and a 4x4 four four round brick. Okay, so we're going to put the axle underneath it like that. And then we're going to get the 2x3s, uh, put them like this in whatever order you want. And then we're going to put the brick in, or no, yeah, let's do, put the brick in, then the round piece, um, then the spinning piece, And then the uh, flat 2x2 two two piece. There we go. There's our bad fidget spinner. Yeah. Okay, let's do this little bearing thing. If you haven't figured out already how to do this, I will show you. Get um, any wheel that you want. A, what is this? Um... Oh, this is a 1x5 Technic axle. You can have any, as long as it's the least, is a 1x3. Put a 1x1 cone on one end. Put the wheel in. Actually, I'm going to put it in like that. And then you can get a round 2x2 two two piece. Just push it in. Then, there's a little bearing thing. Okay, now we're going to do this spinning thing. Okay, so I'm going to take these out. What is this? You need a 1x8 um, uh, axle. Um, if you don't have a 1x8, you won't be able to put this on if you use a 1x6. So get this. Put one of these 1x3 pieces on one end. You'll need two of those, actually. Um, put the wheels and in whatever order you like and then then um i forgot to break this part um get a two by three put three one by two bricks um, with a hole in the middle get three of those and then put a two by three on top of it or you can put whatever you want on top of it i put it two by three and some colored one by twos just to make it look cool um, I'm going to just put that in, put the last wheel in. Oh, and uh, for the rubber part, if you do want it, it's just um, a little uh, rubber piece that goes around um, Technic wheels. And so just wrap it around the wheel, uh, twist it, and do it again. Okay, we're going to up and put it in like that. And there you go, it's finished. If you want, you can take off the wheels and move the middle thing like that, but I like it this way. Now, I already showed you how to build this at the start, and so, yeah, we're not even going to bother with that. Okay, for the big spinning thing, we're going to need, what is this? A 1x7 axle, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three. Yeah, one by seven. Um, two of these big, I don't know how many tooth, I think it's a 32 tooth gear. Two of those. And then a big wheel with a big tire. Uh, one of these, there's different colors. And you can have any tire you want. Um, 
So yeah, let's put this uh, axle in the middle hole and uh, put one of uh, each uh, gear on each end like this. Make sure it's centered. Actually, it's okay if one end is bigger than the other. The bigger one, you'll put the wheel on. Just you can put it right next to that. Then there's that. Simple but cool. Okay, so I don't want to break this down all the way because I like to keep my things together. But I'm gonna show you the gear stuff. Um, so get one of these uh, axles um, with a end there. Then put one of these tiny gears on it. Then get a any kind of axle and on the inside put this um, kind of gear there and then to hold that all together um, you'll need one of these pieces um, this piece these this me mechanic actually came from the set um, Ron and Rex so um, I don't know where else you can find this piece you'll need that piece it's a kind of a weird piece so you'll need that and then just put um, two wheels on each side. I'm gonna just make it like that. Okay, um, there's your two wheels. And then um, you're gonna get one of these one by two bricks with the moving thing. Uh, the moving thing is optional. I'll put a one by two brick on top with the hole. Put this in there. And then get one of these one by one little tubes that go in there. And then put one of these things. I don't know what they call it. They're one by three things. Can you see that? Yeah, one of those right there. And then for the stand. Um, so I'm just going to have a random platform here. The stand is just, um, the stand goes like this. And then in that space, you'll put a 2x4 with a 2x2 underneath it to stabilize it all. Then I'm just going to put that right in the middle. Put this right there. Um, then the, uh, the little thing on top, um, so get two one by three bricks, like this, and then, wait, uh, actually, we want to take this off first, like, actually off. And um, get a 2x2 two two and put a f uh, flat 1x2 tile. We're going to put that right there. And then we can put this thing in. So it should be aligned with the wall. And then I'm going to get a 1x4 and place it so that to... Uh, that thing right there, put a 1x4 under there. Oh, 2x2, two two, that's what I should call it. 1x4 under there. 2x4 um, here. 1x4 here. Um, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Actually, you put this in before you put it in th in the hole. Yeah, there we go. So it's not standing out so much. Okay, there we go. Let's do it like that. There. Oh, there we go. So now we got that spinning thing there. All right. And um, I do not know why this is working. Oh. 
also make sure that the axle that's holding these two wheels is holding the wheels um, right so you can go either way so they're balanced right okay so these are all of them thank you so much for watching this video as always please um, like this video um, share it so more people can see these amazing creations and if you do want to use these models on your channel um, you may um, use these ideas as long as you give me full credit because lots of people like take ideas and don't give anyone credit so yeah thanks for watching please leave a comment below on what I should do I know I told you like two weeks ago I would be done with my latest model and I'm almost there so thank you so much for being patient uh, that's why I tried to get these out to you so you can have more Lego ideas. So also, if you want to see more Lego stuff, please subscribe. And let's see if we can try and get 100 subscribers before the end of July. See y'all.